Yeah. Last night we went on a boat with Luke Belmar, Luke Alexander, Champ, and Colin Yerson. After that, we went to dinner at Komodo here in Miami, and now it's the morning after. I just woke up and I wanted to do a recap of the day. I'll get much better at recording audio in different places, but for now, these are the lessons learned. Just being around guys in their early 20s, looking to get better, improve themselves. Everything we talked about from the podcast to the conversations we had all revolved around the things we could do to improve ourselves and forget about the external situation. You see, most damage is caused by self-inflicted wounds. Very rarely is the external situation the cause of our success or very rarely is the cause of damage happening externally. I wanted to recap the conversations I had with each individual and some of the key takeaways from every single person. I guess we'll start with Luke Belmar. So he's about a week and a half away from the launch of Capital Club. It's something he's been working on for a little while now, over, over a year. He's put together a very dense group with this higher ticket mastermind, which are $15,000 per year. But now he's ready to do it on a broad level at only $369 for the year. I thought this was a super smart play because normally at 50 bucks a month on a traditional Discord server, uh, you'll get around two to three months before people churn off. And so making it as a yearly package right where they're at the apex of you know, how much they really care about a certain product or service, that's when you need to capture all that money up front and really lock them in. And the main things we talked about is putting yourself in positions where you're speaking authentically and you're speaking from things you have personal experience in and the way in which you wanna portray yourself without the need to sell anything. And so he's put his life in a position where he doesn't need to sell anything. He wants to speak, quote unquote, the truth. And that's really a lot of the things he was talking about with me. It's speaking his unique truth. And by speaking authentically, he can attract the types of individual entrepreneurs who resonate with that message. And then the final thought we had was, how do we get this to snowball? How do we create a great affiliate program so that each person refers someone else and it starts this catalyst of shareability? That's the key that he distilled in me. The second conversation was with Luke Alexander and Luke has a great program called Closer Cartel where they teach people how to be appointment setters and, and closers. And the things that I kind of dispelled to him was whenever you're selling a type of info product, it's very important to reduce the level of expectations such that everything they do feels like a bonus from the point in which they pay. Many times if you pay for a certain info product, especially if people are spending a lot of their net worth for $3,000, they're bestowing upon the person selling them the product, in this case, Luke Alexander, a lot of the responsibility for their success. When in reality, a lot of the success comes from within. And there's only so much Luke could do to make someone successful, no matter how great the information or how great the mentorship, it's a lot on the individual person and what he does. So really nailing out not only the, the great product and a great offering, but making it so when people pay, they're coming in with the right expectation that everything going forward is a bonus, that they made one right decision and now a whole a realm of opportunity is unfolding specifically for them. The third conversation was with Champ. Champ has really dialed in his self-improvement. He's been going to sleep early, he's been waking up early, and he's really focused on making great quality content and getting the ball rolling in the right direction and doing simple things that compound. When he first moved to Miami about two months ago, we had a great dinner at Coat, and he was transitioning into making a more denser mentorship program. And I, did, I spoke at his mentorship community, it was about 50 people, and each person was extremely active and he's created a really great dense community that has the power to snowball into something bigger. Although his personal brand might not be at the same caliber of Luke in terms of viewership, he's really garnered great quality people and is able to put together groups like he did with this, uh, with the yacht and Komodo, putting the right people in certain environments where great things can happen. And the last conversation was with Colin Yerson, and he actually lives in my building. He just moved to a new house. He's paying uh, a little under 20K a month for. 
and he is the most consistent person. For the last five years, he has dialed in his morning routine on autopilot and he does not deviate. He's ingrained it such into who he is that everything else comes as a result. For him, when I speak with him, he tells me that without the morning routine, he would be a completely different person. For some people like Alex Mosey, they preach, oh, just get up and start working. And that's their mentality. But for Colin, he had certain qualities about him when he was younger that made it so he needed to instill the right level of discipline in his life, especially in the morning, to get him going in the right direction. I asked him, like, how, how do you stay so consistent in this morning? I mean, I've, I've done it with him a couple of times, but I fall off uh, many more times. And he told me that it is his identity. He is his morning routine. And for me, it was just something I, I needed to do. I had to do as opposed to something I just am. And so there's, a, there's pieces from every single one of these individuals who, if we combine all those things into one person, ideally George, then amazing things can happen because everyone speaks at the same golden rules. Everyone comes to the same fundamental conclusions, you know, for the last two, 3000 years of written history. But it's through the experience and it's through the action that you really get to understand, not just logically, but through your whole body, what it means to change your identity. And earlier this morning, I had breakfast with Luke and I showed him a lot of the software that I've been building over the years. We spoke about potentially working together on some backend projects that Capital Club wants to introduce to their network of entrepreneurs. And so it's just so refreshing to not just hang out with women and go to dinners, but hang out with high level entrepreneurs where I don't have to talk a lot. I can just listen, absorb, and that's something I really wanna work on this next year. I've spent so much of the last four years just hanging out with my girlfriend or my dog or girls I'm seeing and not enough time with entrepreneurs or a great friend group in person. It's different because I speak with a lot of people as acquaintances or on the phone or on Zoom calls or through DMs, but to really get the chance of being around someone and capturing a data set in person, it's a really completely different experience. There's no substitute for experience. ChatGPT and these AI models have logically all that information ingrained in, in word context, but the experience that you feel total in your whole body, there is no substitute. So I'm looking forward to this next big video that I'm gonna make. It's gonna be on Capital Club, it's gonna be a documentary, and vlog five, over. Mm -hmm.